This is the fifth lesson in our series, Phrasal Verbs in Daily English Conversations. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at AngloLink. If you haven't watched the first lesson, I recommend that you do that now. This is important because I explain some general rules about phrasal verbs in the first lesson that you need to know before you practice them in conversation. To watch the first lesson, you can either click on this image or if you're watching on a mobile device, you will find the link in the description. If you've already watched the first lesson, then you're ready to carry on with this one. We're now going to practice some new phrasal verbs and expressions in a new dialogue. Just remember to repeat each sentence first with the non-phrasal expression and then with the phrasal expression, so that by the end of the lesson, you have a really good grasp of the meaning and usage of these expressions. Right then. When you're ready, we can begin. Phrasal verbs in daily conversations. Lesson 5. Dialogue. Are you going to go and get your son after school? Are you going to pick up your son after school? Yes, I am. Could you give me a lift to the station on your way, please? Could you drop me off at the station on your way, please? Sure. If we leave for the station now, you'll be there at 3. Sure. If we set off for the station now, we'll be there at 3. Oh, my train is at 3.10. We'd better do this quickly. We'd better hurry up. I hope we won't get stuck in traffic. I hope we won't get held up in traffic. Now on the road. Do you think you could go a bit faster? Do you think you could speed up a bit? No, I should actually go slower. No, we should actually slow down. Why is that? They're getting strict with people who break the speed limit. They're cracking down on people who break the speed limit. I see. And I haven't got much petrol left. And I am running out of petrol. Do you mean you have to buy petrol at the next station? Do you mean you have to fill up at the next station? I'm afraid so, but don't worry. I'll get you to the station in time. Right then, it's time for our gap-filling exercise. Here are the verbs you've just practiced in the dialogue. Complete the following sentences by choosing one of these verbs. Number one. Could you my sister at the station and bring her home, please? Could you pick up my sister at the station and bring her home, please? And number two, is there any sugar left? No, we've completely of sugar. We've completely run out of sugar. Number three, 
What time will we get to the airport if we... now? What time will we get to the airport if we set off now? Number four. We're extremely late. Please... Please hurry up. Number five. Where do you usually buy petrol? I always at a motorway stop. I always fill up at a motorway stop. Number six. You're speaking too fast. Please, please slow down. Number seven. The police are on youth gangs. The police are cracking down on youth gangs. Number eight. I'm sorry I'm late. I was in a traffic jam. I was held up in a traffic jam. Number nine. He, the children at school, on his way to work every morning. He drops off the children at school on his way to work every morning. Number 10. This is too slow. We must the process. We must speed up the process. Right then, that's the end of the exercise for this lesson on phrasal verbs. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, for more exercises. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.